U.S. military is engaged on all levels. So let me introduce Colonel Mike Davis. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Military Investment and Regenerative Medicine panel. Uh, I think we've brought to you today a great group of speakers and subject matter experts. Uh, I'm excited to hear them speak. I hope you are too. I think it's a very important panel for the, the stem cell community in general with regard to the level of investment that the DOD has, has made into regenerative medicine and stem cell research. Just as a brief, a brief background, uh, over the past decade of conflict, the DOD really has taken a lead in funding stem cell uh, research and regenerative medicine in an effort to translate some of these promising therapies uh, to advanced wound healing and tissue regeneration in, a, in the setting of some of the most devastating injuries we've seen in combat. And this speaks to the nature of warfare of our enemies, uh, dealing primarily with IED-based uh, weapons resulting in really devastating injuries. So having been deployed to Afghanistan and really taking care of these guys, I was struck by two things. One, that we're very good at saving the lives of our soldiers and service members right now. Uh, a lot of research has gone into point of injury care uh, and some of you may have seen this, this figure recently in the Journal of Trauma. This really is a, a, a tribute to casualty care research over the past 10 years. So if you see on this graph, we see injury severity score rising over the past 10 years to its all-time high. And that reflects, again, these devastating injuries, very significant injuries, whereas the case fatality rate has fallen. And again, that's a tribute to the, the research and the advances in, in critical care, rapid evacuation times, and advanced body armor and saving these soldiers' lives. But I was also struck by the fact that we need to do a lot more with regard to restoring these soldiers' lives, giving them back their form and function, because they are so deserving of getting their lives back. And oftentimes these are you know, 18, 19 year old, 20 year old service members whose lives are, are changed in a heartbeat. And they really are deserving of everything we can do uh, to give them their lives back. So shortly after World War I, the Mayo brothers were attributed the quote, the only victor in war is medicine. And that's been no more true than, than now. Uh, we've really learned a tremendous amount from some of these injuries and taking care of these service members. And it's a, it's a real tribute, I think, to DOD and its effort to, to fund regenerative medicine research. Um, and these are some of the banners of, of the funding uh, mechanisms that we have in the military. 